Hi, in this episode I'll talk about the new feature in GIMP 2.8 called the multi-column dock windows which is very useful but before I get to that I like to discuss some of the changes made when it comes to docking dialogs. If we go to windows dockable dialogs here and let's say select pointer and uh, in 2.6 if you remember if you click here and the dialog will appear as a floating dialog and then you can grab it and dock it anywhere you want or maybe you won't dock it, you'll just use it as a floating dialog. But here, if you select any of these, uh, it will automatically send it here, which I don't find very useful because, for example, let's close this. If I accidentally or uh, on purpose close my two options here, and now my tools don't have any options, I have to go to Windows, Dockable Dialog, select Tool Options, and you see it automatically sends them here so I have to grab them and put them back where they belong so this is not very useful change at least not for me and something else let's bring out this dialog for example you cannot uh, grab it and dock it from here you have to click right here so you can grab this and dock it anywhere you want now the new feature uh, you can select any of these grab it and then a uh, mouse over here and we get this line blue line and you just drop it here then drag like this and you see we have this multi column dock windows here right now we are on single window mode but if we switch that off you see we have this multi column dock windows and of course we can bring out something else if we like make them three columns here and this is very useful when it comes to um, customizing your workspace especially if you have a big screen big display or two displays you can uh, customize your workspace like that on the one screen and on the other you can have just the image so this is a really nice improvement in GIMP 2.8 and uh, that's it for this tutorial and if you like the video please subscribe like the video leave a comment and uh, bye for now